Uh, miss, I'm sorry. I'll help, okay? Lose this stupid green. Can't you see I'm walking here? You're right. Stupid tests. Now everything is messed up. Tests? Yes, English tests for citizenship. Can't you see? How are you gonna pass it if you cannot even read it? Miss, I can... Oh, please! Don't even start to talk to me. I'm already sick of your accent. If it was up to me, we would have closed borders long time ago. Now, where is the list? We will keep giving passports to everyone who doesn't deserve it. What are you standing around for? Okay. Let's go to the class. Huh? Vamos, por favor. I'm not your translator here. Let's go. Civics test focused on history and political system. And if you're lucky there, you will receive an honorable certificate of our citizenship. And then you can throw it in a trash. We can start the test. I'm definitely done. I failed the test. And when they hear my accent, they're going to deport me. Or worse, they'll put me in jail, man. This Mildred, she can do this. Relax. There is nothing to worry about. The accent, don't worry about it. We all have it. And uh, I hear you speak English well, and I'm sure you're fluent in it. Okay? And the test won't be a problem for you. Okay? Trust so, me. ladies and gentlemen, I have very good Sorry, bad, very bad news. You all failed the exam, which means nobody will move on to the next stage. I knew it. What to do now? Don't give up so easily. I still can help you. Come to see me, one by one. Malik, what's the matter? What did she say? She can arrange everything. But I'll have to pay with everything I've got. What? I will have nothing to send to my family. And the test? Did she say anything about the test? This is nonsense. She asked me to send the next one in. Okay. How can you help us? How dare you? I answered all the questions correctly. Did you fake our test results? How dare you open your mouth in my country? I can click my fingers like this, and you're out of here. So, either pay up or beg on streets. How are you? At least I have a chance, but if I have to pay for the next test too, I can forget about the citizenship. And it doesn't matter that I know this book like the back of my hand. Malik, don't worry. Everything will be okay. Are you happy now? Oh, I am happy. You have no money, no dignity, and no citizenship. What? I'm still not letting you go through to the next stage, so get lost. I have every right to get the citizenship. You have the right to keep your mouth shut. Otherwise, I'll call the police and say that you were trying to bribe me. And then they will put you on a plane at the nearest airport and send you back to the jungle where you belong.
Yeah, hi. I'm calling regarding the hotel. Uh-huh. The best suite you have, please. What? I answered all the questions correctly. And the officer asked you to go see him right now. What? Go see him? Why? My day is over. He said it's urgent. <sighs> Damn. Did you want to see me? Officer? Yes, I did, Mr. Fletcher. Is it a joke? Not at all. Let me introduce myself again. Pedro Martinez, Migration Service Officer. Since yesterday, I've been responsible for observing the civics tests. And you, of all the candidates, Ms. Fletcher, have failed the citizenship test. What? What are you talking about? I know all these answers to all these tests. I know the language perfectly well, but you failed me anyways. That's not the point. You're a mean, dishonest, unprincipled person who take advantage of others because of your prejudices. You don't respect them and you don't give them a chance because you consider yourself superior to them. People like you don't deserve to be the citizens of this country. And you don't have the right to decide who deserves the citizenship and who doesn't. So don't worry though, because you won't be doing it anymore. Officers, please. What? How dare you? You're no one in this country and nobody will believe Officers, you. Officers, one second, please. Oh, I am happy. You have no money, no dignity, and no citizenship. I'm still not letting you go through to the next stage, so get lost. This is a free country and we are run by the rule of law, and we have plenty of evidence to prove that you have falsified the test results and you demanded bribes. You can't be deported, but you will be put in prison. Thank you, gentlemen. Thank you so much, sir. Now people can get their citizenship honestly without having to give away all of their money. That's how it should be, Malik. If you're a law-abiding person, you know the rules, the laws, you speak the language, you know the history, you should deserve the citizenship. Regardless of your color, race, or gender. We're all human, after all, aren't we? Yes, sir. Thank you so much. Thank you. Good luck. Monica Hope. Who let the woman speak? This world, this country, this entire civilization was built by men. So I need to talk to a man. Mr. Crawford refused to listen to me because I'm a woman. So what's that got to do with me? Listen, we need to convince Crawford that the best place to invest his money is in our company, or we're bankrupt. What are we gonna do? What are we gonna do? I think I have an idea.